this video we will be mainly talking about the NLP feature in business story we have seen that business story is a very simple tool where we can drag and drop dimensions and then create charts on the fly the data is based on the elastic search and BDB has its own special engine and ability to handle that data and provide you the cool visualization in 3.2 version we have come up with uh, some upgrade on the NLP side which I will demonstrate here in terms of so NLP how it works is it's simply you will say a count of a dimension and you can search on any measure and you can keep on drilling down on that measure as we keep on moving ahead so for example in this business story which is primarily based on my hiring sheet so I might have hired hundreds of people and they might be different type of sources through which I have hired including internal referrals so we are paying them some salary they have some billing rates and all that so if I wanted to let's say try to find out number of referrals I just wanted to find out how many people are referrals so how the NLP works is it will say okay there were total 31 referrals internally and then it will start talking about the names of those people it will preempt because my next question may be who has given the maximum number of referrals so I will know okay this person has given maximum number of reference and then it will start listing all the employee names who have given the reference but here I'm not interested in that I will just say number of referral of uh, let's say males I will say I wanted to find out skill based referral so I will say number of referral of selenium then I will be able to find out okay there are 10 people for which we have uh, referred for selenium and now it will be uh, preempting the questions further and it will be able to say okay how many overall number of referrals or through different sources how many resources came for selenium or java or for other type of uh, skills so here I have started uh, going deeper into this dimension so number of referral of selenium by let's say males or male candidates so any male candidates in in company has referred for selenium so I'm able to find out if there are five males who have uh, referred for selenium and uh, for I will say skill or for QA engineer so I'll try to find out number of referral of number of uh, selenium referrals by male candidates in the company for QA engineer skill and I'm able to find out that there are three people here correct and uh, so what happens is I'm able to drill down I can drill one two three four as many as uh, layers as possible so here I have drilled many many layers and now I got this chart option which says that okay how many uh, different type of people are there in my company and I can possibly add this type of a chart so once I add this type of a chart it gets added inside my business story so for example this I have created through this NLP query we have I have uh, filtered it on gender as male and source as referral so here I can actually change the filter and instead of male as the gender I can or I can just change this gender and instead of male I will just say female and this chart will get converted into how many female have uh, referred the candidates which is not too much but still the chart gives me that value similarly I can try to find out uh, 
something l so one of the question i might have is the highest and nlp will preempt the question or it will help you to fill this highest offered ctc from let's say the source let's say the from the source bdb in female for let's say qa architect you know i'll say highest offered cdt cdc from referral let's say okay so there is one candidate and this is it now apart from that it will preempt and will start giving you the maximum salary of different type of candidates and you can still add that chart you can say add and once you add that chart this chart will get added and once this is added this this goes into the business story so once we have added to the business story the chart will appear like this but then what we can do is we can extend the chart and see what it is saying so for different type of people different type of salary is there and now this nlp has actually created a beautiful chart for me what i can do is i can just go and make the color of my own choice let's say i want this color i can make the chart of this color and data label i want of this color and i set this color and i apply that and i would like to always see something in some order so i'm able to see something in order plus in the chart it may look too much so i will just say top 15 only so i will be able to see top 15 i can save the view but i can just say the title of maximum salary on different designation maximum salary on the basis of on the basis of different designation nations and i apply and this chart is perfectly ready for me now to be consumed and i can still sort on different uh, levels in this way the nlp helps uh, me in making a great uh, business story automatically which is quite difficult for me to even think from drag and drop so as you would have seen some videos how business story is getting created but you can see that how nlp helps me to create some more deeper level charts just by uh, writing some search strings here or when we go into the mobile it's through the voice commands thank you mm -hmm.